You're a former defensive back. What are your thoughts uh, about Jim Schwartz, the defense he runs, and, and the hire uh, the Browns made? And then what do the Browns need to give them to run that defense? Well, well I think that there, it's a home run hire. I mean, you got a guy in there. Obviously, if you listen to uh, J3's closing or uh, exit interview, you know, he was talking about how there wasn't a lot of energy, you know, from Joe Woods, you know, kind of he'll basically give you the game plan and, you know, they, it wasn't a lot of motivation behind it. Obviously, with Jim Schwartz, you're getting a guy who was a former head coach, you know, a guy that if you listen to him, you'll be successful. Obviously, this guy won the Super Bowl as a defensive coordinator. So that automatically is going to get the attention of the players right there. Um, what do I think they need to make this defense work? Obviously, the glaring issue is defensive tackle. Um, you, you notice that if you look at his resume, when he was a DC, all of his defensive tackles were either Pro Bowl or All Pro type players. Um, I like Perion. I like the way Perion finished this season. Um, I think they need to pair him up with a vet, some guy that can get it done in the middle. Obviously, you know, with Jim Schwartz, that'll he'll cater to trying to get that defensive tackle spot uh, to be a Pro Bowl type of level. Also, when you look at him and the Eagles. You look at the fact that they had a Malcolm Jenkins there. And when I look on this roster, I don't know who that guy would be. So I would look to trying to add a guy like that. A, a free agent that comes to mind is a guy by the name of Jimmy Ward, who me and him happen to have the same agent. And Jimmy Ward could be a guy that's just like a, a Malcolm Jenkins, a guy that can just cover pretty much any position you need, wide receiver, tight end, or running back. As a former defensive back, um, the scheme usually puts guys up tight on the line of scrimmage and tries to make wide receivers' life miserable at the line. As a defensive yes. back, how much do you like that type of defense? Well, I, well, when I played, that was what I preferred because you want to get your hands on these receivers. You know, people think that just because receivers are fast, that you can't stick with them. But if you get your hands on them and you can control them at the line, it puts you on top of the route. It puts you in control of him. He can't get all the way to 100% speed if you're on top of the route or if you, you know, hand fighting with him the whole way. So I personally like that. However, it is a big risk and a, and a, and a small reward. If you miss at the line, you know, <laughs> you can see a guy running down the field by himself. But I like the way that our corners play. I think they're better as press man-to-man -man. when you think of uh, Denzel, you think of G. New, and you think of Martin Emerson. You know, all of those guys do well when they get their hands on their, their guys at the line of scrimmage. So I think that they will – I think they will be for this 1,000%, especially if you tie in that pass rush. Yeah, doesn't that seem to play to the strengths of those three in particular? Uh, those three – Yeah. okay. I, that, Absolutely. That was my – my read of it, I just want to run that by. How important is a free safety in that? Now, you kind of got at that with, uh, you know, if somebody gets back, how important is the free safety and does that guy exist on this roster, do you think? So if you got a free safety, and we're running a lot of man because Jim Schwartz likes to run a, run a lot of man. So if you're running man, you need one of those free safeties. You need a fast guy, you know, one of those guys that can get sideline to sideline just in case. You know, somebody does miss at the line of scrimmage, you know, you got a guy who can erase that, a guy who can fly from the middle of the field and, you know, help you out on the deep ball if need be. Um, do we have that guy on the roster? I don't think we have a potential or a, a, a natural free safety. I think that J3 is a, is a box safety that's playing in the post. It would be something that I think that the Browns should look into getting. Um, it should getting a guy who can run sideline to sideline. Don't get me wrong. Playing in the post can be boring, but – I was always taught when I was playing post safety, we don't need you until we need you. When we need you, we really freaking need you. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. Uh, if you miss, the, you, you see that a lot. So, uh, <laughs> you, you are the savior. <laughs> yeah, I got you.